American public annually spends more than $4 billion in the nation's great department stores. Some pay cash for their merchandise, others use the installment plan, and a few try shoplifting, a criminal practice annually amounting to $100 million. Shoplifters come from all walks of life. Temptation and opportunity lie for them wherever merchandise is displayed. Of every ten shoplifters apprehended by the law, nine are women. Only ten percent are professionals, but this ten percent account for more than eighty percent of the losses. Among the professionals, those who attempt to eke out a living by the practice, are many drug addicts. And among the amateurs are some who are mentally ill and unable to control their impulses to steal. Described sometimes as kleptomaniacs, they often are tempted by the mere glitter of things, often by the touch and feel of things, and sometimes by a button, a spool of thread, or a mere bag of tell, which to them may mean more than all the riches they might possess. This is the story of one such person. Send an operator to the glove department immediately. Okay. Armstrong, shoplifting suspect. Check the glove department. Main floor. Okay. it's your first time. You start with shoelaces and handkerchiefs, not by taking $22 ceramics and $15 fountain pens. And why can't your boyfriend steal his own pipes? He's not my boyfriend. Who is he? I don't know. She doesn't need a boyfriend. She's a bank book, a big fat one. Faye Burton, age 22. First offense. Faye Burton. Yes, I've heard of you. You're Judge Burton's daughter. Please, can't I just pay for everything? I don't know why I did it. Don't ask me. You've got plenty of money in the bank. You're well-dressed. That's supposed to make you a kleptomaniac. The ones in old clothes are just common thieves, but you, you're a kleptomaniac. Anyway, sign this confession. No, please believe me. I promise I'll never take anything again. I know I deserve it, but please don't arrest me. How can I get in touch with your father? He's in Europe. This will be a nice homecoming present for him. <laughs> How 
Take him along with me, Claxon. I want to see if I can break him down. Or maybe you'd rather have the boys at Central do it. Come on. Well, how'd it go? Nothing to it.
There you are, Jimmy. I think you'll like this. Thank you, Miss Burton. Tell me, is this interesting? I'm sorry, that's a reference book. It can't be taken out. Oh, I imagine it can, if you know the right people. You must have taken it home a few nights yourself. I don't understand. I think you do. Hey. Who sent you here? Nobody. I just wanted to meet you. We have a lot in common. Are you from the police? Now, do I look like a policeman? But this door, Mr. Claxton, he, he let me go. After you signed the confession. Bad things to be leaving around, confession. But he promised. Anybody can make a promise. Just like I'm going to make you one now. How would you like to get your confession out of Claxton's file? How? Oh. What do you care how? You'd like to get it back, wouldn't you? I'd pay almost anything. You probably will. I want to talk to you away from this tomb. I'm through here at six. You come and see me. But I don't even know who you are. I'm a girl who knows a lot of things about you. Things I don't think you'd like anybody else to know about. But I... I, I really don't think that... You'll be there tonight. Where? The address is on the cover. Eight o'clock's a good hour. And any time after that, I may be on the phone calling some newspaper friends of mine. I'll be there. Just ask for Ina Perdue. I'll read up on your case a little. Hmm? Is there a smoking room around? Oh, no, sir. You'll have to go outside. Say, uh, could I borrow those matches? I'm fresh out. Why, certainly. Going out tonight, say. Did you understand me? You're not going out tonight. The girls are coming in to play for master. Please, Aunt Clara, let's not have another scene. Library business at night. How can you expect me to believe that? Then why do you force me to lie just to get away alone one night? You're using too much lipstick. Take some off. Look, I'm nervous enough. I'm responsible to you while your father's away. I think I'm old enough to be my own responsibility. Certainly don't act like it sometimes, taking that silly job instead of going abroad with your father. The job at the library might be silly to you, but it's the only thing I've ever gotten completely on my own. After all your father and I tried to do for you... But I don't want things done for me. Can't you understand that? All right. You step out of this house tonight, and I'll see that you leave that silly job. Then we will have it out, Aunt Clara. Nobody's taking the library away from me, at least not without a real fight. How could you do this? Deliberately stand against me. Can I have something that you don't give me? At least one thing of my own? Now, now, dear. You're all upset. We'll have a nice, quiet evening together, and then I'll send the girls home early. If you do, you'll be all alone. There's a man behind this, isn't there? I wish it were that. Hey. <laughs>
you. Welcome, senorita. Your first drink will be free. Compliments of Pepe. Where can I find Ina for you? Ina? So you're a friend of Ina's, huh? Well, we're going to get along just fine. My name is Pepe. You heard of me. I'm to see her on business. Okay, okay. Well, what's the name, baby? Faye Burton. Miss Faye Burton. And, uh, happy you'll see you later, huh? Your intentions are showing, pal. Come on in. Can't we talk downstairs near the music? No. Barkey, you entertain the young lady. I've got to go downstairs. Sure. But I don't have very much time. Just stay right here like I tell you. You might show us some pictures to pass the time. Sure. So you're the librarian, huh? <laughs> Rich girl librarian and part-time shoplifter. It's a nice parlor. Won't you please tell me what this is all about? We arranged for a photo study of your confession, Mr. Shelley Van Kitten. Well, where's the original? Right where we can get it for you in case you decide to be a good girl. But these are good enough to send your father or the newspaper. What do you want? Just sit down and relax, like Ina said. You know, your old man sent me up for two years once. I don't know anything about my father's business. <laughs> Funny how things work out. Well, I used to drink champagne like I drink beer now. <laughs> and my steel companies went broke. My wife went south with all my war bonds, and my horse ran last my derby. Yeah, women, horses, and steel companies ain't to be trusted. Mm -hmm. I put all my spare cash in charity work. Oh, yeah? It's like uh, buying a beer for a starving drunk? Are you broke, mister? No, I'm just conservative. See, I pinch pennies instead of tossing for them. I might loosen up with enough to buy you a beer, though. <laughs> I wouldn't want to upset your budget. Anyway, we always buy a couple of rounds for a new customer. Well, thanks. You, uh, work here? I'm afraid I own the place. Well, shake hands with a man who's never been prejudiced about beautiful women having money. I'm Anna Perdue. Oh, I bet Mr. Perdue isn't kicking about that. Not often. Jeff Andrews. Where are you from, Jeff? Oh, I uh, just came back from Russia where I've been trying to negotiate a loan for Uncle Sam. <laughs> How did you do? Well, I think that boat's only run one way. What'd you do before that? Look, let's not talk about me. Tell me, what do you do for amusement while Mr. Perdue is busy counting his blessings? Oh, I sit around, read a few good books, and I try to entertain the customers. Mm -hmm. All of them? The one who interests me. You going to be around? You coming back? I have a few things to attend to first. Will you wait? Honey, I'll homestead this stool. alone. Being with me is practically the same thing. Wow. You didn't leave us for long. How do you fit in with us, Junior? Oh, just perfect. 
too perfect to be framed by that phony pickpocket of those teeth, see? My wire I touch, nobody gets wise. Hold it, Peppy! Yes, Carrot. Go back down to your room, Buster. I'll see you later, guy. I mean it. Make it soon, Buster. I'm not on bail. <laughs> well, my associates probably got you wrong. Sounds as if you know what the score is. Being one of the better cameras in the country and having a record to prove it, I keep the score. What's your connection with a librarian? You carry a book phone? This is a big wheel around here. I only talk to him. Then you're out of luck. Nobody talks to him except through us. Sparky, we'll check the boss about this lovely man. Right. If he's a professional, he's got a record. Then what would you be doing with her? Admiring her taking ways? Now listen, beautiful. There's no connection between us. We're just passing acquaintances. And I fumble the passes. Champ, lock these two in the showroom. Making it nickel a telephone your boss? Hey, you want I should be your friend? Teach me a few touches about pickpocketing. Well, before you give me a wire, you have to have steady hands. Hey, nervous, huh? Go get yourself a box of matches. What kind of steer is that? I want to learn how to steal money, not matches. No, you have to limber up your fingers by practicing tying knots inside of a matchbox. Oh, that's the way you start, huh? That's the way you start. If you get stuck, I'll help you out. Champ's hot breath in our necks. What are you doing in this thing? Looking after you and I'm not getting lumps on my head. But there's more to it than that. Don't try to figure the criminal mind, Faye. But are you in it with them? Oh, sure. That's why they beat me half to death. They've got photostats in my confession. They work smooth. But they still haven't told me what they want. They will. Judging from the looks of things, you're going to have to do a little shoplifting. Oh, but I couldn't do that. Whatever you might think of me, I'm not really a thief. So you're not, and I am. You can still play along with them until you get back that confession. But how do I know she'll keep her word? You don't. But you haven't any choice, Faye, believe me. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have come here. It was dishonest to even want my confession back her way. Take it easy. Take it easy. Come here. Put your arms around. Come here. Now look, the room is wired and they're listening. So just do what they tell you. Well, talk the chap into leaving so you could steal a few kisses. How sweet. It passes the time. You always make time? I try. What are you doing later? Why don't you ask me later? Oh, am I going to be around to ask? The head man hasn't quite made up his mind about you. But you, you're lucky. The boss says give you another chance. You want to work with us? When will I get the confession back? That's in the head man's department. He's a store contact and final word. I'm just here to teach you how to shoplift. Well, you'd get a liberal education anyway. Say, uh, do you mind if I watch the training session? No. Help yourself. You can't be serious about all this. You better be. So pay attention. You'll have homework, too. And I ask questions later. Hey, how did you get into this racket? Started out as a juvenile delinquent and worked my way up. Just lucky, I guess. Now watch. These are booster bloomers. Good for plenty. And a 15-year one-way stretch if you get caught wearing them in a store. Watch. If 
if you practice enough, you can steal the shirts off their backs. Yeah, when you get that good, I wear a 16 collar and a 36 sleeve. <laughs> I'll let her practice all night since she gets such a bang out of it. How's your head? Is that the way you entertain your customers? Well, now, Jess, you can't blame us too much. I ask you some straight questions, and I get nothing but double talk. What do you think I do, walk into a bar and start yelling about my record? You didn't just walk in. You came with a girl. So, does that raise a skull fracture? That all depends. I was picked up with her this morning. I already know that. Listen, I've been hanging around a store for weeks trying to get a lead to you. Why? I heard through the grapevine that you had a talent scout operating, so I just followed pigeons in the department stores until one led me to you. What else? Mm -hmm. Enough to make me pack a gun to play safe. What's your next move? I'd like to get full-time employment in your organization. We take our time about making up our minds. Mm, I haven't got much time. Either I jump there around or go back and play footsie with a judge. You've got a couple of days. So? So, just relax. Enjoy the scenery. Do I get my gun back? No. What? Later. Maybe. This is my downtown address. Give me a call tomorrow. Mm -hmm, that takes care of tomorrow. What about the rest of tonight? <laughs> you better sleep off that bump on your head. Oh, no dances, no champagne or anything to celebrate our being friends again? Curb your Porsche enthusiasm. We've got plenty of time to be friendly. Round one goes to the ladies' corner. I'm not particularly interested in winning from you, Jeff. Good night. Now, Liz. Good night.
Does that make you feel better? Oh, yes. I was a little worried, you see, because a bunch of us were getting up a game of cowboys and Indians tonight. You must have checked up on me some more. Maybe. Do I get a job? We don't use professionals as boosters. Oh, I was aiming higher than that. I was thinking of something more in the, um, you know, the executive line. Take your time. Do I get to see the setup? Some of it. Where'd you pick her up? She's okay. That's Pappy. Honest. Well, I had something for you, too. We're going partners. Where you from, kid? Beverly Hills. But she just got out of juvenile hall for finding a pocketbook. Where'd you find these? An oyster bed? Oh, uh, it's... They're my aunt. I live with her. She thinks she lost them. Uh, take this junk back. She paid too much for him in the five and ten. Gee, I, I thought with his razor and jewelry, you'd sure give us some real credit. Hey, Peppy. How much you figure this junk is worth, huh? Depends on where he got the razor. Does it have a year's guarantee? Hey, wait a minute. Shorty Kaiser got five bucks for a two-headed razor. This thing's got three heads. Closer shave. Well, kid... Five bucks for the razor. Snatch more razors and a good ring, and we'll see what we can do, huh? Okay. You can get the ring? Sure. See you tomorrow. We can make it. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll make it. How do you like it? Oh, two-bit stuff. Kids, electric razors. You think so? What if any of these kids get caught? They'll yap like frightened puppies. Oh, no. Every once in a while, we accuse one of ratting. Rough them up good, and the word gets around. Routine, you know. None of them talk. Oh, I get it. Get enough of these kids working in 10 or 12 cities, and it adds up to quite a bit of spending money. But where does the loan company come in? It's legitimate. And it's also a nice way of paying off our shoplifters. They come in supposedly for a loan, and we give them their percentage of the take. It's a nice, safe payoff. And they uh, never see the fence? Never. Well, uh, how do you dump the stuff? That's the beautiful part of the setup. And that's the part you don't see yet. You don't trust me. Or anybody else. Well, uh... Maybe I like being the exception. I can like you without trusting you. Aren't you curious about what happened to your librarian? Uh-uh. Not since I met you. She's good. We're gonna put her right on our job. Swell. She may still. Maybe she can lend me five bucks. <laughs> Not Jeff. I'd be hurt if you took money from another woman. Oh, wouldn't you be more hurt if you woke up one morning and found me starved to death? Come over to the place tonight. We'll see if we can't find something for you to do. No, we'll find something, all right. Incidentally, where's this husband of yours? Right up here. I invent him every once in a while to keep away people I don't like. Well, now, here, that's like putting on a pair of rose-colored glasses. Well, keep them off until tonight. Am I, um, dismissed now? That's right. Come in. Well, Pepe. How are things on the seamy side of life? What are you doing here? Well, I just thought you and I might go out and have a malt of milk together. Smart, aren't you? I'll never turn my back on you again. Don't. Listen, uh, don't hang around him too much, will you? Some of it might rub off. What's he doing here? What do you care? I just don't like it, that's all. I'll worry myself sick about that. Well, I don't think it's smart to have him here. That's not for you to decide, Peppy. And after this, just stay in your own department. Shut it off. Where are those... Let's get a hold of Jeff and see what's next. You better be careful, Lieutenant. Now, you sure you have Faye watched all the time? As close as we can. They let the girl go sometime this morning, Jeff. She went home. Everything's going fine. You're making progress. Yeah, I don't want this girl exposed any longer than I have to. We better not meet again until we we're ready to make an arrest. Watch yourself. We're dealing with a very clever gang. If they get wind of anything, you're in trouble.
Will I really get the confession back after I do this? I've told you, that's not in my department. Anyway, you're luckier than most of our beginners. You get a big job right away. Why do I have to go to San Diego? Use your head. You want to start working this town where you just got picked up? Nobody knows you down there. For heaven's sakes, what can I tell my aunt? It's Labor Day weekend. You're taking a vacation. When you get down there, check in someplace. And call the number I gave you and tell them where you are. They'll send you a list of stuff we want you to get. Well, can't you give me the list now? No. Barky has to case the stores down there first. And quit asking so many questions. And get along because I'm expecting someone. If I only knew for sure that I'd get the confession back. Well, you don't. Here. Your nerves are on edge. Take one of these and you'll relax. Go ahead. I've got to talk to you. Well, I sort of have a date. Please, Jeff, just a few minutes. I'll bring you right back. Okay, but well, let's get out of here before she spots me. Move over.
week now. How does it feel? Have you got a list for me? Mm-hmm. We gave you a lot of easy stuff. Now don't get careless. Maybe we'll have a little celebration tonight. I'm awfully tired tonight, Peppy. Where did you get these? I know. How many have you taken? I don't remember. You okay? Better get those wet clothes off and try to get some sleep. Where are you going, Jeff? Just dry off. I'll be within calling distance. Someone had to lead us to them. 
We had to start somewhere. Why didn't you arrest them then? We haven't got all we want yet. We still have to find out where they get rid of the stuff they steal. But you haven't finished yet. Why tell me now? Well, there are a lot of reasons. First, I think you have the right to make up your own mind whether or not you want to take any more chances. I don't see that it makes any difference. It makes all the difference in the world, Lily Faye. Oh, Jeff, nothing matters anymore. When they arrest them, everything's going to come out about me anyway. Nothing is going to come out about you. If I do what? That's just what I'm telling you. You don't have to do anything else. You're in the clear. I'll tear up your confession personally. No, you were awfully convincing as a pickpocket. Yeah. I may have to go back to that yet if I don't pull this off. And that's how you know all those things about me. Mm -hmm. See, I've studied some criminal psychology. Maybe I could... That you could be cured in nothing flat. Oh, Jeff, I'll try to go through with the rest of it. Mm -hmm. None of it's going to affect you the way it has. Well, it's sort of different now. What do you want me to do? Just deliver to them the stuff that I get for you. Where? It's in your instructions. The warehouse. Where will you be? Close enough if anything happens. You said there were a lot of reasons why you wanted me to know. So far, you've only told me one. Well, the others are far more important. Sure, I've asked them all the cooperation you want. Just a minute, I'll let you talk to him. Hello, Sheriff Baston. You better get down here. Can you make it before 1 o'clock? You have everything set up? Hold it a second. Will your boys be able to fill that list all right? Yeah, they're making arrangements with the department store now. Let's be sure and get these items back, or it'll come out of my salary. Everything's being taken care of by the San Diego Sheriff's Office. Right. San Diego. Right now. I better go with you. Oh, you stay here. I'll keep in touch with you. Flaxen, I'll go over those circulars with you later. Distance call to San Diego. Main 43238. That's right. Park it here, baby. Tell you mind in the theater tonight? Not tonight, maybe no more. Come back in ten minutes for the car. Get lost now. my car. Do you have Jeff in there, too? What would I be doing with Jeff? You know your habits better than I do. So he decided to let you take it all alone. I don't know what you mean. Don't give me that. We know who he is and who he's working for. It's a little late, I'll admit. But that's not going to do you any good. Chop! Yes? Come here. Okay. Yeah. Put this doll on the back end of the refrigerator truck. Yeah. If it doesn't take too long to penetrate that skull of yours. <laughs> and 
Now get everybody moving. We're pulling out. Help him, Peppy. Are we taking her with us? Just for the ride, not for you. <laughs> California commercial license number T9231. Mexican commercial license number B10198. Driver, no passengers. B10198. No passengers. A wood panel station layer. License number 7X4869. Three occupants. Third vehicle. The room convertible. License number 23Y429. Occupants, a man and a woman. Let me have all of the stations. 4789. Cover all closed door stations. Lieutenant. Lieutenant. We're transferring position of mobile unit X as per plan. We're moving. Oh, Sheriff? What about the girl? She's still in there. She's not in there. We've been tricked. You're to follow operations as planned, Jeff. Uh, sorry, Sheriff. I can't sweat it out here. I'd better stick with him, sir. We'll make contact later. Uh, contact San Diego Municipal Airport. Get the Sheriff's observation plane there. Yes, sir.
observation plane to ground station. Suspect vehicles continuing south towards Mexican border. Now passing position 101Z. Relay. Suspects vehicles passing position 101Z. Sheriff Bashman, Los Angeles County, on Mobile Unit X. Mobile Unit X, come in. Mobile Unit X, come in. Lieutenant Paul reporting. Bomb call. Miss Bascom speaking. Go ahead, Lieutenant. Sheriff Bascom, you judge. Sheriff Bascom, are we able to locate that truck yet? Yes, sir, it's a port of entry now. Well, the girl's inside that truck. You've got to get her out of there. Sorry, Jeff. We can't let personal feelings enter this. Must follow through as planned. Well, can't you have the uh, customs officers make some kind of an inspection so you can get her out of there? If we stop them now and find a girl, our case ends right here. Don't worry, Jeff. I've got an observation plane on it. It won't let go. Well, give us an escort to the border, will you? And keep it wide open. Then why do we run? I didn't want to leave all the stuff there. Force's orders? Yeah. But I want all the stuff before they get jurisdiction over. Okay. Debbie, take her down to the basement and tie her up. And get back here to help the boys. Work, work, work. That's all you know. Uh, 
I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Well, were you able to reach there fast? Did he contact the truck? The truck? I do not know. It is somewhere on this side of the border. But it is now all right for you to join your party. Our officer will escort you. Well, what happened? You know, Jeff, on this side of the border, suspects out of the U.S. jurisdiction. We're now working with the Mexican Federal Police. Oh, great. We have international complications on a Labor Day Saturday night. This way, please, gentlemen. And welcome to Tijuana, Mexico. Okay, forget the red carpet. I'm just a shoplifter out on bail, remember? Hands free temporarily. Hey, Jeff, wait. Look, Sheriff, send your Mexican FBI after me, will you? I'm out of your jurisdiction. <laughs> Lucky. Order of it. Speak up, George. Make the fur fly. One thousand. I got a thousand. Do I hit two? Two thousand. I got two thousand. I got. Oh, come on, honey. You said we were coming down here George, for fun. Go ahead. Have fun. Twenty-five hundred. I got twenty-five hundred. Hey, Ruth. Tonight anybody can afford a me. I got twenty-five hundred at once. side of the fence. We could have done big things together. you may be stuck down here for over a year or two. As far as we're concerned, you can all rot down here. You're no danger to us anymore. But remember this. If any of you want to kick through with some information, we'll get you back and try to get you off light. We know there's one more guy. We know he's one of the detectives that the Marston department story had to be to have access to Miss Burton's confession. All right, suckers, we'll get him anyway. Jeff, you would have made such a lovely crook. Why don't you play it smart, Ina? That's what I'm doing. You won't get the boy you're after. 
When he hears we've been picked up, he'll skip. And what good is that going to do you? He's got plenty of money to play around with, to get us out of here. Don't depend on it. I won't. But it's a good long shot. So long, Anna. How's Faye? Fine. She'll be ready to go back with us. Can we wind this up tonight, sir? Yeah, we'll take a plane back and pick up this guy before he finds out we've got the others. Round up all the store detectives. We'll meet him in Claxton's office in two hours. Okay. Yeah, I want this thing finished up in time for my honeymoon tomorrow. And so we know for sure that it has to be one of you. I know it sounds incredible. You've all been investigated so many times. At least 50. I know, and I'm sorry. And that's why I thought if any of you had noticed anything, anything out of line, if we had, we would have reported it, Mr. Dunson. Well, it's somebody here. And everybody's a suspect until we find out who. I'll take it. Yes? All right, bring her up. There's a girl coming up who can positively identify the voice of one of you as being the voice you heard at the Casa Del Mar the other night. Please, I'd like some water. Get her some water, Gomez. Someone's slipping out the door. You people stay here. Close that door, Gomez. Two days too seriously. Just put this on the account that I'm opening here tomorrow. Mm -hmm. 